Welcome to Australasian Bus and Coach TV. And today we're in parks in central western New South Wales as buses head off on their morning school runs. School buses are the mainstay of western roadliners and the backbone of the western roadliners fleet is Hino. Hino is celebrating 50 years in Australia this year and for the majority of that time this parks operator has been running the sturdy Japanese brand. Father and son owners Peter and Chris McQuee are country characters and Peter has been a Hino fan for 30 years. We go back a long way. Um, it was actually the end of the Bedfords where we had to make a decision on which way to go after that and uh, anyone that I spoke to spoke very, very highly of Hino and uh, that was really what prompted us to make that decision. And we've never been disappointed. The, the thing we like most about, uh, about Hino is firstly their reliability, um, secondly I guess the availability of parts, not that we ever use that many parts in them really, uh, they're pretty bulletproof when it comes to, um, to reliability and, uh, and service, uh, they are an easy vehicle to service. Peter McQuee says this 1998 model RG230 for example has done more than a million kilometres without needing to be touched. Western Roadliner's latest Hino acquisition is this 15-tonne RK8J specialist school bus. The RK8J has an 8-litre engine putting out 280 horsepower and 840 newton metres of torque matched to a 6-speed ZF automatic transmission with retarder. A bit unusually in this day and age, the new bus is like most of the rest of the McQuee fleet and has leaf spring suspension. It joins two other RK8Js in the Western Roadliner's fleet. We, uh, we found them to be 100% satisfactory for our needs and uh, uh, didn't think twice about uh, you know, ordering another one as we will do in the future. Uh, just a very, very good reliable vehicle, very comfortable vehicle to, to ride in, good vehicle to drive, does everything right, steering's right, brakes are excellent, um, you really can't fault it. Peter McQuee also speaks highly of bodybuilder P&D Coachworks based on the New South Wales North Coast. P&D bodies are the one that we have um, standardised on in the last few years. We find P&D an excellent company to deal with uh, on the odd event that you might have a problem and I think it only, in my mind, I can only think of one. Um, they came down from uh, from, uh, from Mwilumba and uh, attended to the, uh, to the problem uh, without a query, without a question and uh, we just find that they're very, very good to deal with. Nothing ever seems to be a problem to them. They'll, uh, they'll modify a vehicle to your own specs, uh, change it, do whatever you want. When ABC visited, the new bus didn't yet have seats, which is why Chris McQuee dubbed it the party bus. Check out more about Western Roadliners Hinos in the January issue of ABC magazine.